Welcome to Trinity's Noontime Devotions. My name is Jeff Kopp, and I'm glad to be with you today. Our devotion will be a little different today as we look back in history to April 26, 1518, and Luther's presentation of 28 Theses before the Augsburg Order at the Heidelberg Disputation. This took place in Germany six months after Luther had posted his 95 Theses. Now please join me in one of Martin Luther's prayers. Lord God, Heavenly Father, you did not spare your only Son, but gave him up for us all to be our Savior. And along with him you have graciously given us all things. We thank you for your precious saving gospel, and we pray that you would help us to believe in the name of our Savior faithfully and steadfastly. For he alone is our righteousness and wisdom, our comfort and peace, so that we may stand on the day of his appearing. Through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, our Lord. Amen. Following Luther's proposal for a disputation about indulgences, which Luther had posted on the door of the castle church on October 31, 1517, the Augustinian order was generally supportive of his views. The head of the order in Germany, Johann Stoppelwitz, called for a formal disputation to be attended by the leadership of the order, in which Luther would be provided a chance to expand upon his concern. The disputation took place at a meeting of the Augustinian order in Heidelberg in April of 1518. Luther's opponents had been hopeful that Luther would be silenced, but Stoppowitz wanted to give Luther a fair hearing since he was generally supportive of Luther's views. At the meeting, Luther put forward a theology of the cross as opposed to a theology of glory. The disputation is, in many ways, more significant than the 95 Theses, for they advance Luther's growing realization that the theology of the late medieval Roman Catholicism was fundamentally and essentially at odds with with biblical theology. As a result of the disputation, John Eck, a supporter of Pope Leo X, and an opponent of Luther, proposed a debate between himself and representatives of Luther's views. This debate was held in Leipzig from June to July 1519. This debate and future diets, or meetings, furthered Luther's views which led to the Protestant Reformation. For Lutheran, Luther's theses were the basis for the Augsburg Confession and 50 years later the Book of Concord. The Augsburg Confession and Book of Concord will be the subject of a noontime devotion in late May. Important to remember that Martin Luther was still a Roman Catholic monk a professor of Bible at the New Wittenberg University in 1517. In late 1517 and early 1518, Pope Leo X and his advisors in Rome categorized Martin Luther as an uninfluential monk in Wittenberg, Germany. They believed the 95 theses Luther had posted on the door of the castle church on October 31, 1517, were a minor issue that could be done away with quickly by the Augustinian order to which Luther belonged. The Pope and his advisors were very wrong in their stance of Luther. Luther was allowed to make a presentation to defend his 95 theses at the meeting of the leaders of the Augustinian order. In April 1518, only six months after he had posted the 95 Theses. Luther was not given any specific guidance on what his presentation should cover, so Luther took the opportunity not to defend his stance against indulgences, but to present a different issue. At Heidelberg, Luther accomplished two things. First, he gathered support for his Reformation ideas among those present. Several of these men would become Reformation leaders in their own right in the future. 
Secondly, and most importantly, Luther did not defend his 95 theses, but presented 28 new theses which outlined his theology of the cross. Luther spoke to the heart of the Christian, admonishing them to understand that it was God who acted in history, not humans. Luther discovered in the scriptures that humans were not to guess about God, but to see God as he had already revealed himself, especially in the incarnation of his son, Jesus Christ. Luther made this point in his 20th Theses at Heidelberg. That thesis reads, he deserves to be called a theologian, however, who comprehends the visible and manifest things of God seen through suffering in the cross. Luther found God at a place where most people did not expect to find him, at the foot of the cross, where Christ was hanging, suffering for us. Since Paul wrote about this in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 22 to 25, where he says, For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom, but we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. The end of verse 25. Luther found the cross neither a stumbling block nor foolishness. Luther found the cross the place where God revealed himself to human beings in power and wisdom. Luther continued with his 22nd Theses at Heidelberg. And it reads that wisdom sees the invisible things of God in works as perceived by man is completely puffed up, blinded, and hardened. We do not see God through works, but at the cross. And so it is here we find God exactly where Pastor Bill said it was, at the foot of the cross. If we are looking for God, we can find him there. Luther would have agreed with Pastor Bill, or Pastor Bill would have agreed with Luther. Luther's main point was that works righteousness does not guarantee a man a place in heaven. Seeing God at the cross amidst all the ugliness and violence, and believing and having faith in God revealed there is a key to receiving God's grace and mercy. As the slide says, it would take days to fully read and discuss Martin Luther's Heidelberg Disputation. As Lutherans, we often place too much emphasis on the 95 Theses of October 1517. But the 28 Theses Luther, Luther presented at Heidelberg in April 503 years ago are much more important to understand the theology of the Gospels. Luther wrote in Theses number 25, he is not righteous who does much, but he who without works believes much in Christ. For righteousness of God is not acquired by means of acts, but is imparted by faith. We believe we have faith in Christ and therefore we are made righteous before God. You can see from these few slides that Martin Luther proposed the theology of the cross at Heidelberg in April 1518. As Lutherans, we live by this theology today. Now please join me in prayer. O oh Lord God, Heavenly Father, pour out your Holy Spirit on your faithful people. Keep us steadfast in your grace and truth. Protect and comfort us in all temptation. Defend us against all enemies of your word, and bestow on Christ's church militant your saving peace. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Now please join me in praying the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now receive God's blessing. Almighty God, merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and protect us now and forever. Amen. Thank you for being with us today for the Noontime Devotions. We hope to see you again soon. Be safe, and God bless.